And Nigeria has recorded 40 confirmed cases of mpox out of 830 suspected cases, according to the Nigerian Center for Disease Control and Prevention, NCDC. The country will receive doses of the vaccine through a donation from the United States government, an emergency operations center, and incident management system have been established since MPOX was declared a public health emergency of international concern. The center is focusing on boosting laboratory capabilities, increasing public awareness, and addressing data collection issues. WHO country representative Dr. Walter Mulombo emphasizes the importance of monitoring natural microbes. Generally, with most of these diseases, some people may not report these cases. Some say may not report these cases because of stigma issues, or they may consider it as not this. But again, like we did for cholera, sending people out, some of the RRT teams out to, to, to create an active covalence there. We, we, we hope we get, we get more cases from this state. Hope. But the, the objective is to reduce the number of cases. <laughs> so, so, but we need to intensify those active, active, active search so that at least we know that for sure we don't have uh, any of these cases. The last bit is that uh, all the cases we have here are the clade 2B type, the less serious type. It doesn't mean that, uh, but we also also be we also also have to be on the alert for clip 1B, and that's why we are uh, developing all those. Genomic, those labs that have genomic sequencing capabilities, all cases we see, all specimens we see, we subject to genomic sequencing to be able to determine which leads they are. We'll be receiving uh, a number of doses of vaccine uh, from uh, uh, through donation from the U.S. Uh, government. Uh, the needs uh, globally are huge. Uh, the vaccine is in short supply. Uh, the capacity of the current uh, manufacturer. Uh, cannot meet the global demand unless some kind of intervention is there. So um, I'm sure the U.S. government will be able to inform on the date of arrival. Uh, we've heard from NPSDA representative the vaccination strategy, uh, which is in line with the recommendation for WHO to target uh, the people at highest risk uh, and those who have the disease and their contact as, as, as well as healthcare workers. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.